Welcome back to One More for the Road, a podcast of reviews, retrospectives, and any other kind of ramblings that we can come up with. My name is Eric. Welcome to back to the show. As always, Felix. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Man, I I'm, I'm again, I'm so glad to be back. I'm just still yeah. I'm still high <laughs> on the actually accomplishing tasks. Right. Speaking like, <laughs> of th- but all that's over tomorrow. Tomorrow it's all ogre. Oh, that is that is also okay. Cool. Tomorrow, as of when uh, this podcast is going out, not yeah, like, not like when we're recording it, because this is like like that's, like yeah. a couple weeks beforehand. It's Zelda. That's true. Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom. Da, 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 um, da, we are both. Ex- da, 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 <laughs> I'm I'm unreasonably excited honestly same I'm, i i you know it's crazy i think i'm actually a lot more hyped for this title than i was for breath of the wild i can see that well yeah because breath of the wild we didn't really know what to expect that is also true i just so, i i have like memories of of watching like the old uh i i, I guess you could kind of call them trailers or like talks for breath of the wild and it was mostly just like you know seeing some of the development process right like them getting the map working on the touchpad or the, mm-hmm. the the game pad and and all the other stuff and i was like oh this looks like really really cool we don't know anything um but after that that first sort of like reveal trailer of like <clears throat> of link riding around on uh on epona and getting away from guardians i was just kind of yeah. like oh okay cool you know the next zelda game is coming that's that's nice yeah. um and, and besides, then you got your hand yeah. on it right right exactly i oh, think man. besides that i hadn't really been like super excited about a release since twilight princess i i actually got really hype on skyward sword oh yeah i could yeah i get yeah. that um and but yeah like breath of the wild i had no idea what we were getting into Mm-hmm. Like I knew it was going to be. I mean, it's it was the new Zelda. Like, right? It's going to be good. Yeah. Like, I went. I went on a midnight release with a couple friends, and we stayed up until like five in the morning playing it. Hmm. <laughs> um, now, did you have it on Switch or Wii U? I played the Switch version. I originally played the Wii U version. Oh. Because I didn't have a Switch. Because Switches were still kind of hard to come by. Right. But eventually, I did get a Switch, and I actually was able to get a hold of a collector's edition of the Switch version. Oh, that's amazing. What? Uh, I, I have the little Master Sword statue, actually, like right oh, here at my desk. Um, I'm jealous. My cats bit the flower off. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> There, she was just staring at it, like minding her own business. And I turned my mm. head, and then immediately she just bites the stupid flower. <laughs> off. Like, ah, thanks. Oh my god! Great, <laughs> amazing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But no, I um actually the Wii U version. Um, mm. I encountered the only bug i've actually encountered in my entire breath of the wild experience was in the wii u version on like day two um, oh, i feel really? like i've talked about this i feel like i've talked about this before um you you have i feel like i talk about this all the time <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it was like varuda and like the little shoulder balls were missing and yeah so i'm not going to recount it because i'm pretty sure i've talked about it on the podcast I think so. Multiple yeah. times. <laughs> yeah, I know no. you definitely talk about it with me or uh, yeah. behind closed doors for sure. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. But yeah, all right. So we're we're gonna talk about Zelda. We're gonna talk about Tears of the Kingdom. But first, mm-hmm. we gotta talk about our top three. Yeah, and today we've got top three cookies. Uh, <laughs> yes, this was this was uh, recommended, uh, submitted by the community. And when I say the yeah. community, I mean my friends in the other <laughs> chat. <laughs> thank you community we love you yes uh actually if you do have if you're listening and you have a suggestion for a top three put it in the comments uh below or onto the discord yeah rack our brains yeah give us give us give us things maybe if we get enough we'll make a whole episode of them <laughs> that would be cool i would all right top three cookies uh do you have yeah. ideas on this because i actually i'm i'm struggling 
I uh, I actually do. Yeah, this was uh, <laughs> thankfully relatively easy for me. Um, so my number one of all time, and I grew up on these, but uh, the they're they're just like coconut cookies. Um, what? I believe I, I think they're made by Dare. I think is the brand name. Let's okay. See here. Yeah, they're well, you know, with over time, they they definitely don't make them like they used to. They used to oh, be a lot. Uh, yeah, they used to be a lot softer. But now you try and bite into one and you could swear they're trying to break your teeth. Um, <laughs> yeah, it they, they kind of suck now. Yeah, the brand is dare just confirmed. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I grew up on those as a kid. It, my diet almost exclusively used to consist of those and apple juice. It was Hell it was a yeah. problem. Um, after that, I would probably go oatmeal cookies. No, no raisin, uh, just good old oatmeal cookies. And All then, right. uh, and then peanut butter. Ooh. Yeah. That is a good top three. Yeah. I almost like, there's a small asterisk on like snickerdoodles. I love those too, but, uh, Ooh, snickerdoodles I, are yeah. tier one. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I believe in you. You got this. So, all right. I, I, I don't. I don't know how to describe these, but like you know those like super soft sugar cookies that have like the little disc of frosting on top oh, of them that you get at the yeah. grocery store. Oh yeah. Oh, no, who, that's one. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. All right. That's one. Uh, I will say oatmeal raisin because I do like raisins. Ooh. Uh, I like that we both like oatmeal, though. Yes. Like, it, I feel I, like that's an underrated cookie. Agreed. Yeah. I tell people oatmeal cookies sometimes, and they're just like, what? <laughs> like, I said the most blasphemous thing. Dude, yeah, well, <laughs> everyone's like, eh, chocolatey chip. I'm like, look, chocolate chip is good, right? Right. But, like, chocolate chip cookies are, like, the most basic cookie. Agreed. Right? Yeah. Like, it's like going to a steakhouse. And you have all the, op like, you're going to a bakery, right? Mm -hmm. And you have all the options in the world. Yeah. For, you know, all the cookies are at your disposal. And you're go or you're going to a steakhouse. And you get all the steaks you possibly could. And you just get, like, a basic-ass T-bone or something. Right. Like, like, and there's nothing wrong with a T-bone steak. But, like, right. you could be getting, like, like prime rib, you could be getting filet mignon. You could be getting brisket, mm -hmm. brisket. <laughs> like, like you could be getting anything. But like, you could be getting, you know, M and M. You could be getting oatmeal raisin. You could be getting Snickerdoodles. Right. You could be getting whatever right. you want. Right. See, and you're out God. here with chocolate oh, chip. Yeah. Then again, you could also take an idea, take that the other way. And because chocolate chip is the most basic cookie, you can judge a place on the quality of their chocolate chip cookie. That is valid. Yes. Like you make that the baseline. Yeah, I don't know. Cause it's, you could go either way. Cause I've yeah, definitely cause, done that. Like exactly. Yeah. Cause some places really are like hit or miss. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, some brands definitely are like, if, if you say chocolate chip to me, I, funny enough, like one of the questions I ask is like, okay, like from where or who or what? Mm -hmm. Because if you look at me and you tell me like Chips Ahoy, we might not be friends. <laughs> that like, I don't know how you feel about Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies. I but don't like, like their normal ones, but their chewies right. and their chunkies yes, are pretty those, decent. Those are fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But like the basic blue bag. Right, yeah. Nah, like, fam. no way. No way. <laughs> now, hold and on. Some people really stand by those as, do like, you, the best. Mm -hmm. Do you dip the, do you dip cookies into milk ever? Um, only, funny enough, only if it's chocolate chip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I assumed. But, like, I, yeah. I, I'm like, I, I don't know if I'm just weird and I'm the only one who still does that or if that's, like, a thing that's still. Oh, normal. no. No, no, I no. That, that is, that is normal. I said that to my class one day. I'm sitting there in front of a bunch of 14 year olds yeah. in the year of our Lord 2020. And <laughs> I was talking about, yeah, you dip a cookie in the, in the milk. And like, what, what, what did you say? Like I dipped the cookie into like a glass of milk. You get like no a glass way. of milk. And they're all like, looked at me like I was an sociopath or something. I'm like, what? They're like, you drink milk. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, did, is that not a thing? Weird, dude. Doing... I don't know, dude. Teen teenagers are weird, man. 
agree. I am, I am 30 or 40 years old and the kids scare me. Look, honestly, I, I feel like at least half of that class was lying and hiding. Honestly, okay? honestly, there's a real possibility that they were trolling yeah. me. Oh, yeah. Like, my kids <laughs> I, I think loved so. doing that. My kids <laughs> loved doing that. And I'm like, I don't know if you're messing with me, but this is going to make a great story later, so I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my third uh, yes. cookie. My third cookie is double stuff oreo oh oh see look i hit with just like regular kind of like flavors i guess well i mean i guess you also had oatmeal raisin in there but like yeah. you really hit with like some real like oh i got you with some like cookie like mixes here i love this look man i have played enough dead or alive to know how to do a mix-up okay <laughs> i I can't, I can't, you know, take you from 100 to zero, but I can get you to 25. (laughs) Do not get in my range. That is, that is amazing. (laughs) I I take that back. I haven't been good at dead or alive since I was like 12, but you know, please, whatever. It's fine. Oh God. Hold (laughs) on. When did dead or alive three come out? Oh, it's a, that was on the OG Xbox. Yeah, maybe don't look into that. I, 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 I'd evaporate instantly. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, Zelda. Yeah, Zelda. Zelda. Yeah. Zelda. Uh, what is your like? Oh, so like you? How, what? How are? How have you been with the franchise? Like, what's your history with it? Um. So, hmm. If if I think in my earliest days on on Zelda and. They they were some they were some interesting days. I would say I was very uh scared and intimidated by the uh by the franchise. Um Reasonable. my 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 entry point was uh was Ocarina of Time. Uh Same. though I have a little bit of hands on with yeah, like some of what came before, um and and definitely uh everything that came after. But um I was definitely that kid who took forever to actually maneuver in Kokiri Forest to uh to actually get the the sword. Like I I remember finding the you know the little hole, the crawl space that you gotta go into to like run for the sword. But I would hear mm-hmm. the rolling of that giant boulder and go, nope, I think I'm good. I don't I don't want to <laughs> progress any further. And so I would go back <laughs> into Kokiri Forest and just hang out with the other forest kids for a while. Um, oh God. but as a result, I've now like really ingrained, like just the placements of almost everything, uh, in Kokiri forest, like, even though it's such a small spot, uh, in my head, like the little trick where you jump across the three platforms by the waterfall and you get a free, like five rupees from it. Um, the five rupee that sits like near one of those kids where you have to like kind of cross those like bridges in the air for oh, like yeah, the pillars. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, all those, all the little things like that you could possibly think of, like <laughs> that are kind of hidden in Kokiri Forest. Like I've memorized that. Wow. Fast forward to when I finally get the sword and the shield, and I approach the Deku Tree, and he drops the exposition. Uh, I step into the Deku Tree. I listen to the music, kind of just like stop and get all you know, all all like ambiance and uh-huh. and and quiet. And I said, nope. And ran back out of the. <laughs> so it took it took me forever. Um, like I want to say a solid like five to eight months. I was just stuck oh in Kokiri Forest. Yeah, because I was just so scared of everything. Um, but then I I watched somebody else play through it. He came over to my house. He's like, "Yeah, I'm a Zelda pro." Uh, and uh, and he showed me all the way up to meeting Zelda for the first time. So I was like, oh, okay, this isn't bad. So I would then get into doing that anytime I started up a new file. And then I never beat Death Mountain for a long time. Oh my god! <laughs> for like the same reason, I was just like, I don't, I don't like the Dongle's Cavern. Like they're oh, they're it's creepy. real spooky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was I was a big baby for a long time. Oh um, my god, that's funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really but, funny. But I've been in love since. I kept going back to it, and I guess, obviously, that's for a reason. Oh, yeah. I I actually, no, I did not start with Ocarina of Time. I started Ooh. with Link's Awakening DX Oh, uh, for the Game Boy Color. I think that came out first. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think, the game, I think that was first. 
Uh, mm-hmm. And I, I I got that, and oh man, was I just jamming with that. Like, <laughs> Link's Awakening is Link's Awakening is the Game Boy game that makes the best sounds a Game Boy is physically capable of producing. Yeah, honestly. Like, like the Windfish's ballad, like coming out of like these really nice speakers, like in my headphones, even if it's like the old Game Boy mix, it doesn't it doesn't hold on. Yep. I I, I have to explain this in a way that's going to make sense. <laughs> It doesn't sound correct if I have yeah. high quality speakers for that song. It, it has <laughs> to be like trash speakers <laughs> to sound I get it, correct. Though. Like I, I get it. Yes. Like oh my god! Like it's just so. I'm I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Like it's like I. It, that was a very formative experience because, like, when you climbed up to the top of the mountain and you and all so like all eight instruments started kicking in, and it's like, mm-hmm. dar, 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 yeah, dar, dar. yeah, and then, like, the, oh my god, it was <laughs> that was like, like, I at that moment, I'm like, this is this is gaming, right? Like, I was in love and. So after that, I did I did play Ocarina of Time. I uh, I was not afraid of rock. Oh, okay. fortunately, yeah. Um, I was not afraid of the, the uh, of the boulder because I didn't notice it <laughs> <laughs> the first time. Nice. Nice. I didn't notice it until I was on my way out. I'm like, oh my god, I could have died. Yo, I I'm, I'm very unobservant. <laughs> look, honestly, I I I'm envious because I didn't even look at it. I just heard it rolling. <laughs> And said no. <laughs> See, I had to have the volume really low because that was back when my N64 was still plugged into like the living room television. Ah, uh, yes. And yes. and my mom's like, don't listen to that too loud. And so she'd like turn the volume down to like one. And oh, so like my. I can barely hear the game. I can barely. <laughs> and I was on a timer, like an egg yeah. timer. Yeah. Like 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 my mom took an egg timer, set it to 30 minutes, put it right next to me. It's like that's how long you have for video games. Holy. <laughs> uh and that's why I'm a speedrunner now. I Thanks, love that. Mom. That that is that is like the best speedrunner origin story ever. It's why Star Fox was one of my favorite games on the 64. Oh. Because you could beat Star Fox in about 20 minutes. Yeah, oh, don't get me started on Star and, Fox. And my mom, if she saw me boot up Star Fox, she would say just one game, and she wouldn't use the egg timer sometimes. Oh, oh, you finessed the system. See, but the <laughs> problem is now I can't use egg timers. Like I have one in my kitchen. Yeah, and like if I start hearing it, it stresses me out. That makes sense too. Like yeah. I can't do it. But like I've played. Dang. I've played basically every game in the series except for one. Okay. Uh, and that's Wand of Camelon. <laughs> oh, of course. Because, oh uh, yeah, I've played <laughs> the other two uh, CDI games, though. Oh, wow. Uh, Zelda's Adventure and... What is the other uh, one? I actually don't know it off the top of my head. I think it's Adventures of Link. Oh, well, actually... It's like, I feel like that's accurate. I think well, it might if it unless it's a repeat because I think Adventures of Link is all like is in Zelda two. Like I think it's Zelda two Adventures of Link. Yeah, uh, it's whatever the other CDI one is. Uh, hold on, I can look this up real quick. Uh, CDI Zelda. Uh, Faces of Evil. There we go. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The only reason, like, I, that's that's the one that has like the super wonky world map. Yeah. Uh yeah, like Wand of Gamelon, I uh I I knew that was the one I didn't have because it was just the one that we didn't have access to. Mm-hmm. Uh I had a friend who had a CDI and I didn't get to play these until like maybe 5 or 6 years ago. Like he oh, just wow. had a CDI. He had like Hotel Mario or whatever that game is. Right. Uh, and then like a bunch of other games and I got to play those games with him. 
It was great. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, no, they weren't. They were very bad. <laughs> <laughs> they were atrocious. But like, God, you mean they're, they're not game of the year. <laughs> oh my God, they're like game of the trash bin year. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Zelda's Adventure isn't the worst game I've ever played. Yeah. Like yeah, I could see I could by see a why. long margin, but mm-hmm. I, I also grew up in the golden age of Newgrounds. Oh yes, and yes, and I was active on that site. Like I was always going up to the new tab. And I'm like, oh yeah, let's let's uh let's lower some kids' ratings. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's play some trash and rate them poorly. God, oh. I I wish I got into that. I'm not gonna lie to you because I uh, it, <laughs> it, it, oh, I was a bad student my freshman year of college. I'll tell you what, but I was a great Newgrounds reviewer. <laughs> <laughs> I I really wish I was the one who I don't know if you've seen like the 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 dot 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 like uh I guess I guess comment or whatever uh because I think it was it was a comment somebody put onto like an April Fool's like video or game or something, mm-hmm. and and it was like the the game or or video itself was put up there as like an RPG. Oh yeah, hey, this is a turn based RPG and this and that and whatever. But it was really just like a giant long like video or something like that, and you never actually get any choices uh, yourself in the game. So somebody took this literally like seriously and was like, "Wow, this isn't even an RPG," and it's like riddled with a bunch of. Uh, a bunch of like typos and whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you're familiar at all with Rice Pirate, he actually like did like a narration in like a super dramatic voice over oh it, God. and like it's it's kind of like one of the greatest things I think on the internet. I <laughs> might have to go. Ch- I might have to go look that up. <laughs> I will have it ready for you. Yeah. All right. So so, but we've both played a lot of these games, right? Yes. Yes, we have. So like, we have to uh, make a top three. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, okay. Hey, yeah. Top three yeah. Zelda games. Oh, this is a rough one. This is a real. Yeah. Rough one. What? Hey, listen, um, you take it away. I'm going to cheat immediately. Oh, what? Okay. I'm going to cheat literally immediately. Um, and say that Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons are one game. Oh, that's fair. Uh, it's because then I get to have a top four. <laughs> you are something else. <laughs> um, no, Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons are unironically like probably my favorite of the two D Zeldas. Yeah, I get why. I, um, I oh god, I get why. Like there's I, just nothing like them. I need to go back for those games and play through them proper because I owned Oracle of Ages as a kid, mm. um, and I I couldn't really tell you how far I've gotten. Like I know for sure. Like I, I saved the uh, I forget her name. The but the you know the Deku tree like equivalent. Oh 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 um, uh, the tree. Yeah, oh, I have no like, idea. I, right, like I I Surely. remember saving her and doing a little bit more running around. I even remember like popping into like a graveyard at some point. But mm. I I don't think at the time I played it, I had a proper grasp on like the sort of like the formula of Zelda. And so I was just doing like aimless nonsense and didn't really get anything done. Um, okay. But I know I know those titles are legendary. Yeah. And then I I never really got to play seasons either. I was always like, oh, I like blue. So I'm just going to play ages. <laughs> and I never went for seasons. <laughs> it's it's like a Pokemon, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's how I looked at it. Yeah. Actually. I mean, that's how they marketed it, which was also awful. true. Yeah. Honestly. Um, yeah. Um no, I love those two games. I, I owned both. Mm-hmm. Um because I realized they were connected uh, after right. I beat the first one. So I'm like, Mom, may I please have the other video game? <laughs> is the, is there like a uh like an order you should be playing them in? Like do you do seasons then ages or vice versa? Uh it doesn't matter. Um okay. whichever one you beat second, if you do the code to transfer oh. it over, uh, it adds like the third arc uh, right. into that game. So like both games okay. have it, but um, it's just whatever order you do it in. I think you have to do. I I I don't know if this is accurate or I'm just misremembering. Right. But I believe that there's a like order you have to do it in 
in order to get like a hundred percent on one playthrough. Uh okay, that makes sense. Well, I don't know if that's accurate or not. <laughs> right. Okay. So okay. um don't don't quote me on that one. Um, yeah, I'll I'll do some research. Those are going to uh virtual console soon, right? They should be, yeah. I'm I'm really curious if it's going to make us write down and then transfer a password over. Oh, it oh it totally is. It I, totally like, is going to do that. I'm like, I was uh, like, cause there could be like a, Hey, uh, don't, uh, like look for save data. That would be You're a right. cool thing they could add, but I doubt they would. Agreed. I, Ooh, I wonder, I wonder something to look into. Or in that, a copy uh, when paste, I a copy paste would be really nice. <laughs> cause yeah. that's like a, that's like a 20, like 20 to 30 character password. <laughs> Right, it's yeah. It's a big password. Look, push come to shove. When you beat one, just like have a save state like right on that Oh spot. my god, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> Thanks, Nintendo. Oh um, gosh. So, yeah, your, I guess your other two games? My other two games are Wind Waker. Ah, uh, yes, uh, of course. Wind Waker is easily the Zelda game I have the most hours in. Yeah. Um, I did speedruns of it. Um, Ooh. back in like 2012 or 2013. Cool. Uh, yeah, that was back when like world record was like just starting to get under five hours. Okay. Wow. Cause, Dang. Cause like, cause like we didn't have barrier skip, right? Barrier skip right. is super recent. Yeah. Um, and so like we were just getting uh super swim and, oh, uh, item yeah. storage or, yeah, uh, and right. so like, <laughs> Like we we're just getting those things, so a run took five hours. That uh, is so I th- crazy. I th- yeah, I think my personal best was around. I think it was like five twenty six. Ooh, something like that. Um, Ooh, okay. Which, which you know, it's tw- it, you know, it's like half an hour slower than the world record was at the time. But like, hey, in my defense, yeah. I was busy. <laughs> <laughs> like I was Look, I, like I wasn't doing it for any uh real like competitiveness. Like I wasn't submitting times to a leaderboard because I just didn't have recording software for my GameCube. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> yeah. Like I didn't have a capture card or anything, so I was just like, all right, like I'd have to record on like a VCR or something, but it was like twenty twelve. Oh and I, I had a VCR, but like not tapes. Especially yeah. Especially not five hour tapes. Yeah, no, definitely not. Oh my yeah. gosh. Um Ooh. after that it gets hard. After those oh, two yeah. it gets hard. <laughs> I'll have to Ooh, round this out. I'm gonna have to round it out with Link to the Past. Ooh. Okay. I feel okay, like that's okay. really uncontroversial. But no, like it's and, just and that's like, so okay. good. Uh, wait till you hear my top three then, because like I'm uh, gonna I'm gonna hit you with like just the oh uh huh yeah uh-huh, that makes sense. oh yeah <laughs> my my basic friend Felix <laughs> <laughs> that's me. <laughs> All right, what do you got? What do you got? So of course, like shared with you is is Wind Waker 100. Uh, mm-hmm. That that remains to be, especially the HD version, my like favorite mm. Zelda game um, ever. Um, uh, after that, I, I mean, here we go. Uh, I would say Twilight Princess would be the game that I put the second, uh, most amount of hours into. Wow. Um, now that's a game. Well, I mean, like I said earlier, that's a game I was especially hyped for. Like, I mm-hmm. remember going to the GameSpot and IGN websites and wherever else I could find anything. And I would literally be rewatching trailers from E3, like over and over again. Like, I can't tell you how many times. I watched the fight against the King Bacoblin or whatever he his name was. Oh um, yeah. Over and over and over again. Cause they just they just put that out. It was like, oh yeah, here's the fight with him in Hyrule Field or or wherever it was. And uh, all the way up to to beating him. And you know, you see Link do that cool freaking pose with the Pona and whatever. Still one of the coolest scenes of all time. Um, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, Absolutely. I just, 
I, I would I would go to school, come back home, be like, wow, I wonder if there's any new videos today. And I would just rewatch the same ones over and over again. I'd um, say Yeah. I would say if I were to do four, yeah. Twilight Princess would be my number four. Yeah. Like like, oh, it is uh, so so good. It has my favorite combat of any of the Zelda games. Honestly, yeah. Same here, to be honest. Like the special moves, uh, mm-hmm. like so cool. Like I love the one where it's like he draws his sword, like when he's near people, and what I do, oh. like because he has a move. If your sword sheathed, yeah, he'll like draw and strike, and it's a really strong yes. strike. So something I would do is I do that and then sheathe the sword and then do it again and sheathe the sword again. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh, it was so cool, <laughs> so cool. And then and then when you like get into the just the the lore of all of those moves it's like oh this is mm-hmm. so it's it's so good toilet princess is a good game um man it really is it's, it's funny to me that you also said uh a link to the past as well by the way mm-hmm. um because my third game is a link between worlds <laughs> i was quite I, flipping <laughs> in my head between those two to be 100% yeah. honest but yeah it's so funny so funny to me uh i I binged that game. Like I don't, I don't remember the last Zelda game because I, I, despite Wind Waker and Twilight Princess being also my favorites, mm-hmm. I didn't sit down and like, like really like binge those. I kind of just paced myself throughout both. Um, A Link Between Worlds, I think I beat within twenty four hours, like one hundred percent because of how much I was enjoying myself. <laughs> Same. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely like, like oh. dude. Three DS games were so easy to binge though. That is true. Yes. Like I miss I miss like the 3DS and the Game Boy Advance. I think Yeah. I think those were the best handhelds probably ever made. Agreed. The Switch is not a handheld. Agreed. I yep. can already hear someone typing. Yeah, it's, right. <laughs> it's not. All right. I know. It has a handheld mode. But, but it does is not it? A, yeah. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <Is it> really? <laughs> Um, oh no no uh link between worlds is, was super fun uh mm-hmm. I, I like when i was sitting there coming up with my list i'm like oh, man like they're both really <laughs> good but right link to the past especially with its randomizers um, oh yeah like i i was real into that for a while like i have definitely forgotten probably more things <laughs> about link to the past at this point like since i just haven't interacted with that i've definitely forgotten yeah. more than i think most people have ever bothered to learn <laughs> about link to the past that is that is wild <laughs> like dude i was i was i was way into that like that's yeah that's cool it's, it's great oh man you know, what what's your least favorite game you're not allowed to say a cdi game Oh wow! No, let me stop. Uh, least favorite game, huh? You're also not mm. allowed to say Zelda Two because Zelda Two is good. Oh, <laughs> that's why you can say Zelda Two, but I'm just gonna say I'm gonna fight you about it. No, of course. Uh, to be honest with you, I think I'm gonna say Spirit Tracks. Um, oh damn! Yeah, like, and it and it's crazy because there's there's actually like a lot to like about that game. Like I would actually argue, and and somebody brought this up to me recently, and I agreed. I actually think it has one of the best Zelda characterizations. Um, I'll Zelda in that, that game is yeah, really really good. Um, but like God, like it, it it's it's really just one word. It's just train. Like uh-huh. I, I was not a fan. Um, the train know- mechanic was like really really close to being really really cool. Yeah. And then they've just added uh, like a few things to make it absolutely insufferable. Yeah, agreed. And there were too many of like certain kinds of quests, I guess, that were associated with it. Like I didn't mind to say some of the escort quests or whatever. Mm-hmm. But then there ended up being quite a few. And then there's there are a few other things too that that are that are surrounded by the train as well and I'm just like, mm, there's a lot more train riding than uh than I really signed up for to be honest. And and it's wild considering like Wind Waker, especially vanilla Wind Waker, you know, it's, yeah. it's a lot of sailing. Uh, There's a the lot of sailing. Even, yeah. And the same even in, in Phantom Hourglass as well. 
it's just a lot of a lot of sailing well less so than uh less so in travel than yeah. the other two games but still you know there's a lot of sailing um yeah but that's the, fair the, yeah it it sucks i i hate that it's probably my least favorite because uh just like i did with phantom hourglass actually i did kind of sort of binge it i was like oh this is neat but then like i i really started feeling it maybe after the second or third like temple i was in or dungeon i was in um oh yeah and i was like yeah no 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 hold on <laughs> let's just let's I, just get the credits rolling the only zelda game mm -hmm. that i have started but not beaten mm -hmm. because i was just not having a good time was Triforce Heroes. <gasps> oh, I love Triforce Heroes. Dude, Were you just something about that game bounced right off of me, and I don't know what it was. Did you did you play with strangers? Uh yeah. That was my problem. Yeah. And no one in my yeah. no no one near me had it. Yeah, that's yeah, understandable. I, I played with friends like from beginning to end. It was the worst. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I, if I had friends. I would have if I had friends. <laughs> if I had friends that had that game. Yeah. Uh or just in general. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, hold on here. <laughs> Look, I couldn't convince like the 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 person I played most 3DS multiplayer games with was my mm -hmm. wife. Yeah. And she didn't wanna. Oh. <laughs> like she was like, mm, I don't know. I'm still still working on Alpha Sapphire. I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. And I was tired of losing to freaking <laughs> her in, <laughs> at all times. Uh, right. Well, I, I, I want to have a brief aside. Yes. About the Pokemon games. And uh, I've played... Uh, all I, I played uh, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Mm -hmm. I played Sun and Moon, and I played uh, the Let's Go games nice. with yes. her. Yes, uh, and we were playing them side by side, and uh, we we would like challenge each other periodically. Uh, you know, once we got to different milestones, and uh, I have never beaten her. Really. Not once. Holy. She's a she, Pokemon master. Really, she really is. Just like absolutely, absolute legend. Like wow. cannot. And, uh, and, and so I don't like to do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so Sword Shield was coming out and I'm like, I don't know, man. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Fortunately, like. The Let's Go games kind of knocked her out, uh, mostly because we only have one Switch, and it's just a pain in the ass to oh, right. uh, play together. <laughs> right, that makes sense. Yeah, so fortunately, uh, like, we just never did that. But I, I haven't played Sword Shield, I haven't played Scarlet and Violet, it, which is oh. a shame, because I was super hype on Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, I just, I just was like... Those. Like I was just like the day of release. I was just like, I'm not gonna buy Pokemon today. Mm -hmm. And then I decided no, and I just never bought it. Dang! Like, yeah, we gotta change that sometime, dude. I know because everyone who's played it is like, mm -hmm. it's so. It's basically said that it's extremely close to being the best Pokemon game of all time. Yeah, yeah. If it like, were not, it's like mm -hmm. literally a technical mess. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, like. That that's really the only thing that I would say holds it back in any capacity. And even mm -hmm. then, like I, I think a majority of people will tell you they thoroughly enjoyed themselves, right? Exactly. Like, yeah. Oh. Like, yeah, like like everyone who has played it has basically told me like it is their it's it's the most fun Pokemon game. Yeah. Oh I'm, wow. I'm still a I'm still waiting for the next Legends. Like if they give Ooh. us another Legends Arceus. Yeah. Like I, I'll be oh, on I that. Really I'll be on that instantly. Yeah, same. I same. loved that game. Yeah. Oh God. We we will definitely be talking Pokemon sometime. Oh, absolutely. But yeah. It's time for Zelda. What mm -hmm. are the top three items in Zelda? Why are Ooh. they all the hookshot? 
<laughs> you know what's funny? I'll tell you my first one. I was gonna say the double claw shot. <laughs> I was Twilight about first. to say the double claw shot. Yeah, Let's the double go. Claw shot is so good. Oh my god. It is so good. Oh my god. Ah, I have this thing and it's annoying me. There. All right, now it's out of the way. I will stop hitting it, I swear. <laughs> um Oh yeah, double claw shot is like it's the coolest. Dude, I why did Twilight Princess have all the best items? Right. Oh like, my! You got the double claw shot. You got the gale mm -hmm. boomerang. Yep. Um. You got that one has the bow and arrow, right? Yep, it does. Yep. Uh, it's got the spinner oh <laughs> that you God, only use spinner. a handful of times, but it is like arguably like kind of the oh best. Oh my God! The spinner's so yep. cool. The boss. Yes. The, the that big is my bone dragon. Yes, that is one of my favorite boss fights. It's all oh, easily. Yeah. Easily. Um, oh yeah. What about like uh okay, I think I gotta think of other things. Um <laughs> actually the I'm gonna say the goddess sword. Oh from oh, Skyward Sword. Really? Because I loved the light beams mechanic. Uh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, the being Skyward able to hold this, or whatever. Yeah. I liked that, and I'm gonna call that an item. <laughs> I mean, I would say it counts, right? It's like kind of a weapon, but like, like we can just lump wet, like, cause I mean, they're all just the swords, right? Mm -hmm. like, but it's the coolest sword. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Okay. okay. I like that. Second coolest sword. The coolest sword is the gilded sword. Oh, yes. Majora's mask. Yes. Like, boy. It's the coolest sword with cool weapons. Okay, that's actually a lie. The razor sword's actually the cooler sword, but the gilded sword, that, right. you know, it, stays yeah, that way. It, exactly. Uh, man, I wish you could make it so this razor sword moved through Agreed. time. It's so Agreed. good. Oh. oh, it's so good. Um, okay. Oh, man, well, I can't think of it. There's a lot of items. The, the, oh, my God. Yeah, there is. <laughs> the cape oh oh my god uh it's it's rock's cape right yeah rock's cape yeah i love that i and love like, that item too because the rock's feather yeah cool right rock's cape very Even cool. better i i remember seeing it and being like oh is that a kirby reference like i don't know who took from who or what but i remember mm. i think kirby has an ability that's basically uh rock's cape and oh, yeah. uh and I was like, wow, <laughs> like, look at that. <laughs> the Game Boy games take a lot of stuff from Kirby. Yeah, yeah, they do. It's it's almost like Kirby's Adventures, the best video game ever created. Honestly, <laughs> honestly. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's, that's another we got to talk about. We, ju we just got to like do like cool little breakdowns of like all the Nintendo YPs. Because, oh, man. that Wow. Look, man, we've got podcast ideas for months now. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Which is how long oh it's going to take us to finish a shirt so it works out. True. true. Gosh. <laughs> Why is this game so dang long? I swear to God, we'll get back. To, we'll have a review for y'all. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> we'll see you closer to worst, the release of Reverie. <laughs> worst sponsored streamers of all time. It's true. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nisa Video Game Company. Thank you, Nisa Video Game Company. I'm sorry. <laughs> I please sponsor us for every, even though we're not going to be able to play it until like October. Honestly, yeah, that's that's the reality, huh? <laughs> Reverie's going to come out, or no, like like Nyuta is going to be coming out. We'll be like, it's time for Reverie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh my god! All right, what are your top three items, man? What do you what do you got? What um, do you got? So of course, uh, spoilers. You know, I gave you the the double claw shot is Dude, definitely it's there. So good. Um, I I love like the the bow has never done me dirty. It it has the potential to, especially in the two D games. Mm -hmm. But I the bow is so good. Uh, that's up there for sure. Um, and then my third one actually, this one might kind of throw you for a loop. But yeah. the uh, the Deku leaf. <laughs> nah, I love, man. I love the Deku, Deku leaf. leaf is so good. <laughs> It is. It is. I assume you're talking Wind Waker, right? Yes. Yeah. Because yes. like, or not Majora's Mask, uh, Breath of the Wild has the Deku leaves you could use to make boats go, which makes sense. Right. 
Of course. <laughs> Makes total sense. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm fanning the fanning the thing while I'm standing <laughs> on the thing, and it's just going. Wow. <laughs> Physics. Good all. Good all. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Deco yeah. leave. That's... Deco leave. I had so much fun just trolling NPCs and various other, like, objects, I guess, with that thing. Like, That's just, fair. Uh, silly. Man, Wind Waker is just the best game. <laughs> it is. It is. So fun. And yet oh. so dark. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Speaking of things that are dark, dungeons. Oh. Because there's not a lot of lights. Yeah. In, in the dungeons because it's underground a lot of the time and, in, and, <laughs> and they don't have to maintain torches because it's empty for long periods. Anyway, what are your favorite dungeons? Ooh, so, okay. Well, since we're on Wind Waker right now, I actually really, really like Forsaken Fortress. Um, that really? is That is on there. Yeah, I ended, up, I ended up liking it quite a bit. So, funny story about Wind Waker. Um... Remember how I was scared in Ocarina of Time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the same thing kind of hit me with Forsaken Fortress. I was good on Outset Island, and then Sis got taken away, and I was like, oh boy. And then, you know, you get shot onto Forsaken Fortress, and <laughs> you lose your sword and everything, and it's just like, great. What do I do? Um, it was, I will say, though, it was mostly like the freaking jump scare whenever you were like almost caught by the uh, by the minions. Oh, my in God. There. Yeah. Like what? And then and then um, the they, one they room. They make the noise. Yes. They and then the, oh. like it, it's terrifying. And then the one room where uh, like, you know, you turn the camera. And like nothing's there, and then you turn back, and like suddenly, like several little like gremlin demon things are like running at you or hopping at you or whatever. Yeah, yep, exactly. Oh, I nah. hated those, dude. Yeah. I hated those things. Completely terrified me. But when I was over that fear finally, and I was like, yeah, you know what, I got this. Uh, and then mm-hmm. of course later on the actual revisit. Uh, the, I mean, shoot, both revisits. I guess. I guess. Yeah. Um, I uh yeah no I thoroughly enjoyed myself uh right right up to you know of course like the Phantom Ganon fight and the ev- yeah. everything else like infiltrating that fortress was always like really fun to me because I was like ha I might I... be six years old but you and you think you can stop me but guess what I'm the hero you ain't got this I got this and and yeah just trying to get into my playground was nice I don't think I like any of the Wind Waker dungeons understandably so funnily enough like I I definitely get that I. I'm like, like, I was sitting here. I'm like, are any of the Wind Waker dungeons in my top three? And I'm mm. like, no, definitely not. I'm like, do I like any of the dungeons? <laughs> right. Like, I guess Dragon Roo style might, like, is good. I was about to say, I, I think otherwise, like, that one would have been my Wind Waker top pick. Wow. Yeah, like, yeah. Dragon Roo style is, like, like, probably the only dungeon that I don't, like, dislike. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's crazy that's right considering wild. again that's that's our favorite game like yeah, yeah what? <laughs> easily like wind waker is like like my f- like okay it's my second favorite but like it's my f- it's mm, like it's right. a top three zelda game but i don't think i like any of the dungeons it's i think wild. that's why i like breath of the wild so much because like i don't care about the dungeons in a zelda game right right which, which i feel like is blasphemy but like it's it, not the thing that makes be. me like it the most right no 100 percent agreed with you yeah um, um, my, is my second one, unless you want to give your first. Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Uh, my second one is Arbiter's Grounds from, uh, Twilight Princess. <sighs> All right. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's one of mine. That's one of mine. Yo. Dude, oh. Arbiter's Grounds is, yeah, because we both love the spinner. Yeah. And that's just yeah. the spinner dungeon. And it's so yeah. cool. <laughs> and that, yeah, exactly. And like, that's, that's the dungeon. It's like, you know, you, you. You just get in from uh from Gerudo Valley, or I guess, or like the, uh, you know the the Gerudo Desert. I forget what the desert is called. Is it just Gerudo Desert? I think it's just Gerudo if- Desert. Okay, yeah, and like I liked the music out there, and I was like, oh, cool. So like a good like I felt like the Arbiter's Grounds was like a perfect sort of like payoff to sort of enjoying myself out there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like it's the it's the first dungeon where you get to interchange between you know Link and Wolf Link, uh. And 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 even like the the po hunting, like even though that obviously it takes like a little note, I guess from um from Ocarina of Time and maybe even a previous game, uh, 
I, I really liked it here because, of course, that required you to use the wolf and like mm -hmm. track sense down and all that, all that stuff. Really, really good dungeon. Oh, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, right up to the end. So good. Um, and then this one, I don't, I mean, I, I consider it as like, uh, I, I kind of consider it as a dungeon. Yeah, I would actually say I enjoyed myself with the Yiga clan hideout in Breath of the Wild. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I was not a big fan of that section because that section is either like completely trivialized by having right. the stealth suit. Right. Or like, ex like just stupidly hard. <laughs> yeah. And I went in with like, and without the stealth suit and it was stupidly hard and I hated it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I had a bad time. <laughs> Oh no! Understandable. Uh, I actually don't know if the stealth suit trivializes it. I feel like every time I see someone with it on going through there, they're like, "Oh, this is so easy," and I'm just like, "I don't." I just think <laughs> the stealth mechanics were just like not fully baked. Right. No, I'm I'm with you on that. But funny enough, I I think I myself I tried to stealth suit it. I don't remember if I had the full set. Um mm -hmm. and. I I still kind of had a difficult time. I maybe I don't know. I I remember though when I did get the stealth suit and I got it fully, I went to the dye shop and I made it pink. Oh wow! So nice. I, I was a bright pink ninja. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I yeah. It was it was a good time. It was a great time. Oh, um, but yeah, like yeah. Well, yeah. What are your top uh, top three dungeons? I'm going to have to say, actually, the dungeon that the Arbiter's Grounds got the pose from, Ooh. the Forest Temple from Ocarina of Time. Yeah, that's a good pick. Uh, the Phantom Ganon fight in that is, like, super good. Mm -hmm. um, the dungeon has, like, super good music. It's atmospheric. Like, it's just a... Yeah. It's, it's a good design yeah. And it's probably my favorite Ocarina of Time dungeon. Mm -hmm. Just Same. period. Ocarina of Time had good dungeons, though. It did. It really did. Um, I don't know if this is a controversial choice, Ooh. but Great Bay Temple for Majora's Mask. Whoa. I I liked it. Like, I loved the water mechanic in mm -hmm. it. Like mm. it, like like making it the water flow like different like was just super cool. I thought. Yeah. No. I. I get it. I. I think. I think a large majority of people might might uh, disagree. Like I. I'm with you though. I think that mm. temple is actually really fun, and I actually, despite the changes in the uh, in the 3ds remake, I yeah. actually really enjoyed playing through that dungeon too. Yeah. I, I think it has the best. I think it's easily the best water dungeon. Yeah. In the series. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then I've been kind of racking my brain on this. Ooh. But I'm going to have to say, I, I want to say, I don't remember the full name of it, but I think it's Hera's Tower in Link to the Past. Oh, yeah. Where yeah, you yeah. get, like, right before you get the, I don't know, the moon pearls in it. Yeah, you're right. Um, oh my gosh. And like I I like that dungeon. And I don't know if it's like just super well designed, but I think it's like when I think of a Zelda dungeon, mm -hmm. that's what my mind immediately snaps to. That's cool. <laughs> that's like, really cool. You've got the weird worm boss that knocks you around. You got mm -hmm. like the two color blocks like it's like a bunch yeah. of stories tall like it's it's the zelda dungeon true yeah oh wow that's a good pick i'm a fan of it man i'm a oh. big fan okay 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 all right i'm picking uh, mm -hmm. up what you're putting down uh, so then you. so then okay so we, we we've done a lot of bouncing around obviously between several of the games Mm -hmm. Um, what would you say that your favorite version of the hero Link is? That's a tough one. 
It is tough. I'm going to have to say probably the Breath of the Wild version. Oh, okay. Yeah, understandable. I don't know. Like, he doesn't have a ton. Like, he has some characterization. Yeah. uh, Mostly in, like, the side material Mm -hmm. and uh, that kind of stuff. But, like, I don't know, man. I just... I just like the idea of Breath of the Wild Link. He's just like, oh man, I gotta go save Zelda. Gets distracted yeah. like for 200 hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm I'm actually with you on that. Um, I really like um, I re- I really like Breath of the Wild Link as well. Did you play Age of Calamity? I did not, but I watched okay. someone play it. I watched okay, a nice. streamer. Nice. Okay. Yeah, because he. <laughs> I think like that's what really sold me on Breath of the Wild Link because yeah. not only did that man get like nerfed the heck after that 100 year sleep, <laughs> like, mm-hmm. <laughs> but like he was out here eating rocks. <laughs> like, Dude's just is, like built I was like, wow. different. Simply he, built he really different. Is. He really is it just all around just just a good dude. That's <laughs> a really really good dude. Oh, funny. About, I think we already touched on this, but Zelda. Yeah. Yes. Um, it's the yeah. best Zelda, and why is it uh, Spirit Tracks? <laughs> right. Like, ah, she's she is the perfect level of sass and just engaged. I mean, shoot, mm-hmm. you know, she actually, wait, I'm trying to remember, because I know in Phantom Hourglass, she's she becomes, like, playable, but does she also in Spirit Tracks? Uh. Oh, crud. Yes. I, I want to say yeah too. She right? possesses like in, stuff, right? Okay, okay, cool. Yeah. I, I I remembered that in in Phantom Hourglass. I couldn't remember if that came back in in Spirit Tracks. Well, I think in Phantom Hourglass she only possessed like the one armor set. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then she you're possessed right. other things. Man, she became a ghost a lot in those two games. She did. She really uh, did. It's it's wild. Yeah. No, I'm I'm, um, I'm gonna agree. That's that's probably my favorite Zelda. But yeah. British Zelda is the best <laughs> Zelda voice. Oh goodness. I I don't know. Like I don't I don't hate it like a lot of people do. A lot of people really hate it. Well, that's because I mean, they don't like Xenoblade. Oh, well, oh, that's that's got to be it. <laughs> yeah. Like look, you either like Xenoblade or you think the Breath of the Wild Zelda voice is stupid. <laughs> and therefore your opinion is bad because you don't that's like Xenoblade. Wild. <laughs> yeah i hmm i i i'm I'm pretty indifferent i think on uh on her voice overall though like i mean i'm i'm here for it give mm. us give us more voiced characters please oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah like thank you thank you for that um and shoot speaking of voice characters actually ganon uh or ganondorf yeah um your favorite version of him uh wind waker and it's not even close uh, yeah then Dang. again, Tears of the Kingdom, Ganondorf. Yeah, he's my, shaping uh, up. Dude, I don't know, man. Yeah, he's dude. he's really shaping up. He he is people thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> like the like like there was a certain subsection of Twitter. They saw that first uh they saw that trailer and the, they dropped some official art and they're just like, mmm. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah understandable <laughs> he's voiced by matt mercer too yeah i i don't know how i feel about that I, i'm not gonna lie i i'm i'm only going to hear olivier coming out of ganondorf's mouth and that's oh, the funniest God. thing in the entire world to me <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fair <laughs> <laughs> he's here oh, to dm God. yet another game <laughs> oh that is beautiful. I'm not gonna I'm, lie. I'm a big fan. No, I'm I'm super pumped. Uh, but but Wind Waker Zelda's or Wind Waker Ganondorf is the best Ganondorf. Yeah, because agreed. he's just old. He's tired mm-hmm. of all these stupid kids. Yeah, <laughs> and their triforces. And he, he he's the Ganondorf that completes the triforce. That is true. Like, yeah. the dude literally is a split second away from winning and just gets bodied from Ghost Dad. Yeah, literally. If if not for that, it would have been GG's. Yeah, and I'm like, and then, and then the laugh. 
Yeah. Dude. When you knew he lost it. Yeah. Uh, and I think it's also probably like my favorite Ganondorf fight. Mm hmm. Understand the franchise. So. Yeah. I like, I, I actually felt pretty sympathetic towards him uh, in those moments. Oh, yeah, definitely. Dude's like, like, it's like, like yeah, all you, right, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm going down. I'm killing these two kids while I've got the right. chance. Right. <laughs> and and done. Oh, God. That dude was dunyan rings. Yeah. God. And all, all while, of course, like, you know, the water's starting to flood in. Oh, it's and, so and, good. So good. Oh, I, I, I felt so bad because it was like, you know, obviously you, you make the connections probably while playing this game that this, this happens when it does in the timeline. Um, mm -hmm. And, and you're just like, dang, he just wants, he just wants Hyrule to come back. Like, yeah, he wants it to, you know, he wants to rule the freaking world and whatever else, but like, he's just trying to bring it back, mm -hmm. it, you know? And and so like in that, in that moment, like when I, when I really like, when I learned that I was like, okay, uh, I'm thinking to Ocarina of Time. I'm thinking about all the memories I have of like, you know, running around on Hyrule Field and all the stuff that was there. And I'm just like, dang, he just, he just wants to bring it back. And we really didn't let him have it. Yeah. And then even more to the to like, you know, to drive that home with the 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 sequel titles that came out after that. So, you know, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, where it's like there's no Hyrule, there's no Master Sword, yeah. there's no like well, there is still like the the line of royalty, but even that of course has taken a pretty dramatic change. Yeah. Like nobody knows that history anymore. It's so wild. Like it's it's in my opinion, it's like the saddest timeline. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. I, I am glad that the sequel games for Wind Waker allowed Princess Zelda, like Tetra, to be Tetra again. Agreed. And yes. not just Zelda, because, yes. because like that's the one thing. And I know again, this is the least controversial take of the t of, of the century right here is <laughs> like when Tetra becomes Zelda in Wind Waker, like she basically stops being a character, mm -hmm. which is really just stupid. Agree. Like, and then, and 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 Phantom Hourglass changes that and gives her the Tetra character again. Yeah. But like, I'm like, ugh, come on. Like yeah, it's the one yeah. thing I didn't. It's the one thing that I, I is the one big complaint about Wind Waker, and it's like, but it's still my favorite. It's, I mm. freaking love the game so much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Wild. who's your favorite Ganon or Ganondorf? Um, I'm actually with you as well on it being Wind Waker. Okay, okay. Um, I didn't, I didn't yeah. know if you said that, but like, mm -hmm. I, I was like, I was like, yeah, that's. It's so good. Yeah, ridiculously good. What a, yeah. what what crazy character development too? Because like really looking at uh, looking at him in uh, Ocarina of Time, like he's you know he's he's a he's a pretty typical villain, right? Pretty pretty mm -hmm. one dimensional, I would say. Um, but then yeah, like he he really develops. <laughs> and he gets by the, by Winter. Yeah. Dude, dude is in a Saturday morning cartoon art style and still menacing right that's oh it's so good it's so yeah, good amazing what about like supporting casts though like ooh, like your favorite side characters your favorite like like oh. group of people or individual characters like because mine's right. beetle oh beetle is so good beetle, beetle's <laughs> the goat beetle is so good thank um, you yep i you know wow. i've yet to find anybody who can do like an accurate uh no one impression can. only yeah. beetle can yeah and and i think that is one of like the most amazing things ever that dude <laughs> like, made a noise what yeah <laughs> that, that man <laughs> created a sound yeah like even hearing him in breath of the wild i was like great that you're here but you don't sound the same <laughs> dude, right? yeah like no no way that Either dude, bring back the old guy, or if that is that guy, just reuse his old voice. <laughs> just, just find those old files somewhere. Yeah, and yeah. Seriously. Like, like, cause, like he just couldn't do it. Like, no one can no. do that. That Nobody. dude, that dude captured lightning in a bottle. Yeah, yeah. Excellent analogy. And mm, oh my god, 
are I just love um, Beetle so much. <laughs> Beetle is Beetle is really really good. I hmm. It's wild because I guess similarly to Beetle, we actually don't get too much of this character. But I'm I'm like really really fond of uh, of Impa and like I guess especially her more recent uh, characterization because you know we we don't really get much mm-hmm. of her in general, but it's like especially not in uh, Ocarina of Time. But like I feel like every other instance of her has been like increasingly good. Uh, and I'm okay. And and funny enough, I guess like. A lot of my fondness comes from a side game, so not Age of Calamity, but the first Hyrule Warriors. I yeah. really love her there. Uh, love her design. Love like the the move set, but like even yeah, like her her characterization and just like how uh, how devoted she she is to Zelda. Like seeing that all of that in action and stuff, like just mm. really sold me on her. Uh, she yeah, she's got a she's got a soft spot in my heart for sure. I mean, I actually really liked the first Hyrule Warriors. Same, yeah. It's really good, remarkably good. Yeah, I was a big I, fan. I it's it's funny, um, uh, because I know I know something we were going to touch on at at some point is going to be like you know some maybe some theorizing maybe if we have anything. Yeah. Um, I, have you have you heard the theory of whether or not in Ocarina of Time like the sages are dead or not when you when you when you clear temples? Um. I think I've heard the theory because I think you mm. were talking about it. I th- I think you were yeah. streaming, yep, Ocarina of Time, and you you were talking about it. Uh, yeah, and I'm like, I can see it for a few of them, right? But like, it doesn't make sense for Princess Rudo. Yeah. I'm, and yeah, it doesn't make like like Daronia, sure, whatever. Yeah, Saria, yeah. sure, whatever. Yeah, it f- funny you mention her actually because uh, I was doing I was doing some reading on the theory like after uh, after that conversation, uh-huh. and in the manga for Ocarina of Time, she's actually trapped in uh, one of the paintings uh, from Phantom Ganon or in that fight, I guess. I have that manga literally right here. Hey, nice. Do you yeah. Do so like, oh, you think neat. I'm not prepared? <laughs> Yeah. So I was like, okay, that's kind of neat. I, I didn't look into into like Daruni or anything like that because, uh-huh. you know, I, I can see how that, that particular theory, uh, you know, su- supports the idea. Um, but yeah, like otherwise I'm just like, mm, nah, no way. I think it's a, like, I think it's a bit of a, a, bit I, of a stretch. I, I, can, I can see it from yeah. like a couple of them, but like, yeah. Like, um, oh, what's her name from the Spirit Temple? Oh, uh, Naboris. No, no, Naboris. Yeah, Naboru. Yeah, she's she's strictly alive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. Like, like we did not kill her. (laughs) Yeah. No way. Like we. I mean, like the the witches themselves. Like you know, they they physically say they're like, yeah, we're going to put you here so we can brainwash you some more for later. Like why? You know, why would they then kill her? That doesn't make exactly. Um. Uh, Yeah. No, I I don't think. Like one or two of them, sh- why not? Whatever. Like they're sages, <laughs> it doesn't matter, <laughs> right? Like, but most of them are alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I, 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 I think like all of them are alive. I'm like, you can't, you can't be a sage and also be dead. Wind yeah. Waker disproves that. Like, no way. Yeah, it's um, true. Yeah, yeah. That was my that was my biggest like supporting evidence against the theory. I was like, ha. We have dead people in Wind Waker, and they're supposed to be sages, <laughs> and uh, they can't do a thing. They yeah. need, they need, uh, yeah, they need replacements. So, ha! I see um, what you did there. I see what you yeah. did there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But man, I, I guess um, it's, uh, is it time to talk about Tears of the Kingdom? It's time. It's time. Um, as a bit of a warning, in case anybody has been uh, listening this entire time, uh, we are going to be talking any like any and all of the the official uh, footage that has come out for the game uh, up until this point. Um, mm-hmm. So if you're avoiding spoilers, this is your time to bow out. Thank you so much for listening. Yes, you're amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Please leave a comment uh about how, how what you're if you're excited for uh tears of the kingdom uh or not um but leave a comment just yeah about whatever know. maybe maybe you hate our cookie choices from like hey. an hour ago honestly like, yeah and if you do that's valid <laughs> yeah, it's okay i believe you i believe in you still uh, <laughs> but that's your spoiler warning y'all
What are you looking forward to, man? Oh, I, uh, it, I, I don't know, to be honest, like it, it there's a lot, but, um, uh-huh. I, if I'm to pick one thing, I'm really, really like, I have high anticipations for what they specifically do with Zelda. And I'm not talking like, you know, this, this potential new, like, I guess, transformation or like even the powers. I want to see if she's going to be an active, like player in this Hyrule. Like if it's, if it's less, Hey, find her in the final act of the game or leading up to the final act of the game and more, Oh, Hey, like while you're here and doing this and that and whatever Zelda is either maybe with you or like kind of like traveling alongside you, or she is doing X, Y, and Z like off in the distance. And like you, if you wanted to, for example, like you could, you could run up and say hi, you know, Mm -hmm. like while you're, while you're progressing, because I remember with, uh, interviews for, uh, for breath of the wild, um, I believe it was uh, Eiji Aonuma who said this, and and he said something along the lines of like, your choices in Breath of the Wild or like certain interactions you have in Breath of the Wild will actually determine like how Zelda behaves towards you. And then the game came out and we didn't really get that. Like you only get a slight change in dialogue based on whether or not you collected all of the memories or not uh, on your run, right? Like that was it. So I was like, hmm, this, this sounds like maybe an idea that didn't see itself to fruition maybe there was a translation error or something like that but i've been really really hung up on the idea of like of her being a very like active zelda i just like because i don't i don't know what that would actually look like there are ideas but i'm just like hmm like how how would they do this and make it cohesive with like everything else so i think it would be cool if like you could pull up your map and there's like a little like zelda icon like she is here (laughs) when and she's doing whatever with whatever npcs that would be uh, while exciting. You're, yeah, while you're doing whatever else. Yeah. I, I'm i actually really looking forward to, like, seeing... Because uh, there's, there's some obvious, uh, like, showing that Hyrule is rebuilding. Right, yes. And I would really like to see if we contribute to that in any, in any capacity. Like Terrytown, right? Right, that would be so nice. I would love to do have that like expanded greatly yeah yeah i think that would be super cool um but like i i'm interested to like kind of re-explore the area Mm -hmm. right see what's changed like see what's different see what's been going on like Mm -hmm. i'm like exploration was like the my favorite part yeah of breath of the wild like outside of everything else like easily getting around the map was super cool and that's that's what i'm looking forward to the most easily okay okay nice i love that Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um in in tears of the kingdom we've been able to see four different abilities so far uh that are replacing the the runes from breath of the wild we have ultra hand recall fuse and ascend um and those are just the four we know of right now. There are, there are going to be more. I've already seen like a video or two that like show icons for other ones, but yeah. they, they weren't allowed to like say what they were. Oh, uh, so geez. I was like, oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> um, but, uh, but of those four, uh, you, are you excited about any particular one? I feel like Ultra Hand is like the easy answer here because like mm-hmm. I could just Voltron stuff together. <laughs> right. But I'm actually going to say Fuse. Oh yes, because like I I I want to mess around with cool weapons, and I want to yeah. mess around with all that. Like I I feel like I'm gonna spend entirely too long like duct taping weapons together. <laughs> yeah, honestly, and just having here. a grand old time. <laughs> same here. I I like when I first saw Fuse, I was like, okay, you know what? This is like a really really cool idea. And then they they you know they showed us just the extent of like what can be fused onto things and i was like wait hold on a second this might be like the greatest thing ever <laughs> mm-hmm. when i saw um like automatic automatic headshots with applying like a keys eyeball to mm-hmm. uh to an arrow i said you know what yeah that right there i'm i'm farming keys when this game drops oh yeah like, yeah, yeah immediately yeah. like they, thank god like they they fly or hopefully they still do but like you know, they, they, they would fly up to you in like hordes most of the time. So uh, hopefully that's still a thing because I am going to farm. <laughs> oh, absolutely. 
my cat yeah. is currently uh, attacking a little box. Oh no! <laughs> that's, that's that sound we've all been hearing. Um, <laughs> love it, love it. Oh yeah, I, I, I have a feeling like materials are going to be so much more like in demand because like yeah, you'll, there, there's so many times where you're just like, oh, I have pocket full of random bits. I don't want to, don't need to do anything with this, and I, I feel like you're gonna have more of a use. Yeah. And, and, it, and uh, it's actually funny you mentioned materials because that is something else that I've also been seeing in um, in the, the more recent gameplay that people have been dropping. Mm-hmm. Um, bes- well, I mean, there, there's some in the gameplay trailer too, what with like the, the zone eye bits and pieces. But um, even, even the enemies we have already known, like they've been given extra uh, enhancements and of course with, or extra material drops, I should say. And yeah. of course, with the now new and or enhanced enemies, otherwise, like, you know, there's there's more that they're dropping. Um, I I saw in some gameplay, I think somebody was fighting like a regular uh, Bokoblin. Uh-huh. And I think they were maybe wearing like, you know, an item or something on their like necklace or something like that. And so in combat, like that flew off of them and, you know, you're able to grab it from there. And I was like, that's different and really cool. Mm-hmm. Um. And then I've noticed like some of the moblins as well. They got like an additional like uh I guess like set of horns. Oh yeah, uh, and, and I you actually can, like, turn yeah. those into you can like take those horns and like make them into spears and stuff. Ex- yeah, exactly. Yeah. And and so there's so many different materials now and and now we've got of course like you know the 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 new enemy types like we have boss bokoblins now. Oh. Um I noticed Gleok is back. I think Just that got confirmed vibing. in a recent trailer. <laughs> yeah, like, and, and Gleok is a Zelda 1 enemy, I think, oh. if I'm not mistaken. And I was like, what? Like, what's going on here? I, um, I, I think they're trying to address the fact, like, uh, the, like, people were complaining a little bit about, like, the lack of uh, unique monsters. Right. Uh, previously and i think they're gonna try to get back to like hey we have boss monsters again yeah they shoot i'm i'm scared <laughs> I'm, I'm back to yeah. being scared i am i am seven years old or or younger sitting in front of ocarina of, uh, of time again in this mm-hmm. game uh yeah 100 percent. yeah I, I yeah i'm yeah there, there's there's a lot of stuff going on with these new enemies and i'm i'm real i'm real curious to see how it all pans out yeah um are are there any new enemies from from anything that I've seen that you? Oh, bless you. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> are there any new enemies that you're looking forward to uh, fighting in this in particular? Uh, that's a good question, actually. Right. <laughs> uh, I definitely wouldn't beat up that Gleok. Oh that's, yeah. That's why. That's that's that. I'm gonna make a beeline to that thing. I'm like, yeah. I know exactly where you are, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> True. Yeah, um, that one's gonna be an easy find. Yeah, I don't know, man. I I feel like I feel like I'm just gonna like. There's obviously like the new mech enemies, which are kind of neat. Yeah, but like I don't know if there's a specific enemy I'm looking forward to beating up. Oh, Ganondorf, but like, of course. Um, I think I'm just gonna kind of go and see what what's being put in front of me. Right. No, of course, of course. Yeah, feel it out. Oh, yeah. um, I. I'm very curious how combat is going to go against those like new flying enemies that we're seeing. I I don't know which game they might be from. Um, I don't know either. Probably Skyward Sword. They feel very probably. Skyward Sword ish. Yeah, that makes that makes sense actually. That makes the most sense. Um, um, yeah, I'm I'm extremely curious about those because I'm like, wait a second, like no way it's just going to be a shoot them down type thing. You probably got to meet them in the air somehow, and if so, how does that go? Um, I mean, maybe so there's a power it. that we don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Like I, I, I have not seen the new gameplay stuff mm-hmm. personally. Right. Um, because yeah. it, it came out. I'm like, oh, I'll watch that at some point. And then I was like, <laughs> I should have done that earlier. Today, yeah. Whatever. Should have. Should have prepped. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, I, uh, I just casually watched like last night while I was going to bed, and I was like, oh, that's neat. Oh yeah, I watched. Um, I was watching a uh, video on Fallout Four, actually. Nice. <laughs> uh, a a three-hour video essay on how Fallout Four is uh, better than you think. Oh wow! Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, well, well uh, let's have. A, we're gonna have a brief side about Fallout. Um, yeah. I like Fallout a lot. Mm-hmm. 
Um, and there's like two, like Fallout Three, especially. Yeah. Um, I think Fallout Three is probably like my favorite of the Fallout games. They. Um, and there's two like seminal videos about Fallout Three. Um, one is Fallout Three is garbage, and here's why by H. <laughs> guy. <laughs> and Fallout Three is better than you think by many a true nerd. Okay. And, um, like. The Fallout 3 is garbage, and here's why video. Like, I get it. Like, he, dude was just mad about Fallout 3. Right. Like, and, and, and him making that video actually really turned me off to, like, his content. Like, his more Ooh. recent stuff is amazing. Yeah. Um, but, like, I, like, he made that video, like, six years ago, and I'm like, ah, oh, this dude's just being mad about a video game. Mm-mm. And then I'm like, whatever. And then there's many a true nerd who I I've watched quite a bit of his stuff. Like he do he does a lot of like playthroughs mm-hmm. stuff like that. And like he's the Fallout guy. Um, he's he like made the like you only live once to kill everything. Uh, runs like for all the different games. Right, dudes played a lot of Fallout. Th- three and fallout new vegas yeah <laughs> dudes played a non-trivial amount of it and, he, and then he like came out with that video i'm like wow finally i could like like he, he he explains it in ways that i'm like yeah this makes sense right because he's just he's just it's they're they're good videos man no i might have to i might have to tap in because yeah fallout has been for me like a series i've always respected but i've never given the time of day i I would highly recommend one of his, like, if you want to watch a playthrough, I would mm. highly recommend one of his because he is okay. uh, probably one of the most knowledgeable Fallout people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just on the planet. He's actually doing one right now, which Ooh. is like a, of uh, Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands, which is a mod that takes Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas and slams them together. Oh, that's nice. Actually. It's actually one of his current running weekly series. I love that. Okay. Oh, and it's only one episode up. a week. So once you're caught up, it's super easy to keep on. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, mm-hmm. that's where I'll start then. Yeah, I, I would okay. highly recommend it. Look, any time, any chance I get to recommend many a true nerd. Uh, <laughs> it's a good time. Oh, uh, I love that. So, but anyway, back to Zelda. Uh, yeah. Zonai. Or yeah goat people is yeah i guess that's kind of what we're getting from them right yeah i was like this is not like it's like your furries are weird <laughs> right i and i didn't i don't know well i don't want to say i didn't expect that because we have that armor set that that uh that has been theorized or like confirmed that it, you know it's uh-huh. supposed to be zona inspired or whatever and i was like okay yeah but it's it's wild to me like i don't know why in my head I always kind of just anticipated that the Zonai were just going to basically end up being sort of kind of what the Kokiri maybe could have turned into. Like, yeah, we have the Koroks and we we know like their story and whatever already. And so like in my head, for some reason, it was just sort of the alternative to what uh-huh. they otherwise could have been. Sort of like how, you know, of course we have the um the the Zora and the Rito, and now they're kind of like they're coexisting and stuff like that. Like that's how I looked at the Zonai. Especially considering, you know, they're they're based out in foresty areas slash jungle and yeah. they're you know, they're they're green and associated with, you know, the, the Triforce of court courage probably and so on and so forth. I was like, Makes Okay, sense. cool. Like these these are the like the link connected people and link is oftentimes connected with forests. So they they probably gotta look like they're probably gonna look like him. So when we saw like, you know, like the yeah, the armor and whatever, I was like, huh. Is this like the skeleton of a fallen enemy, or is this like one of the people? I I actually saw the barbarian armor and thought it was more so like Ganon inspired before, uh, like I ended up listening or reading on any theories about the Zonai there. Yeah, that was something that really threw me off. They're like, oh yeah, mm-hmm. the Zonai. I'm like, hold on, the the crazy rock people, right? Like the, the the people who clearly had some sort of like advanced civilization. They were the right. barbarian, right? Like what? Yeah, like that, that's something that always like misconnected in my head. But like, who yeah, knows, man. Yeah, I mean, shoot, we're gonna we're definitely gonna find out in this game. Mm-hmm. I I remember how like I I remember mentally like screenshotting that moment when uh 
when the first, I guess, like gameplay trailer came around uh-huh. and uh, Link defeats one of those, like, you know, the Zonai drones or whatever. And he picks up like a piece of it. And I just saw the name like Zonai this. And I was like, <gasps> oh, dude, everything yeah. everybody's been theorizing has been confirmed. Like in this oh, one yeah. item drop, like <laughs> that, that I, I remember that, too, because I was like, oh. yeah, 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 oh. like just it was it was wild, man. And, and like, I guess yeah. that brings up the Sky Islands, too. Like, pretty what pretty much, right? Like, what the heck's going on with that? Yeah, like, I, I know a lot of people, I don't know if this is still the thought, but a lot of people, of course, assume that these are island, or, yeah, islands that have kind of, like, descended, maybe, from the heavens, because Skyward Sword, right? Like, we, uh-huh. we see a lot of kind of, like, that Skyward Sword influence in this game. Um, so... Do we think that the islands came from the sky? Do we think they came from the ground? Like, so I uh saw a theory, a mm-hmm. game. Th- no, it wasn't. Game <laughs> um, I, I I forget. I think it was Zeltic or something. I was watching, and hey, shout out. Uh, he uh noticed that the dragons in Breath of the Wild mm. exit and leave the like exit and enter the sky through portals in the clouds that are very oh. reminiscent of the portals in the clouds from Skyward Sword. Oh. And what if those islands were always there? Right. But covered by the cloud cover. Right. And now that Ganon, uh, it, like Ganondorf is back and he's like, you know, fully hydrated again. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, like Hylia, like, like, is uh, and like you know, just is like, all right, cloud cover. No, nah, we need, we need, we need, we need to get on this, or like Ganondorf yeah. like bursts through the cloud cover, and that's his whole thing with the moon. Right. No, that makes sense. Who knows? Okay. So, so let me let me pick your brain for uh for a quick thought then. Uh-huh. Um. So, given what we know of the Zonai, or or we we're. I guess we've theorized uh, as a community about the Zonai and their connection to Hyrule slash like the royal family, right? Because we're mm-hmm. aware, I believe, at this point, or we believe that uh, they, you know, they 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 joint together to protect Hyrule, basically. And I think that the supporting evidence of that is, you know, the the hand in Ganondorf's freaking chest when he's found, yeah. right? Uh, among some of the other things, like the technology and stuff uh, that seem to be. Uh, but the, the, the Sheikah seem to have taken inspiration from in regards to the Zona, et cetera, et cetera. Um, anyways, uh-huh. sorry, the actual question. So do we think that these islands will either like appear as a sort of defense for Hyrule? Or do we think that, yeah, like it's it's, it's the result of Ganondorf maybe doing something to trigger their their veils being removed? I I feel like I feel like it's the se- closer to the second than the first. I feel like the okay. veil is being peeled off, and these things right. that were were there mm-hmm. are being revealed. And right. I don't know why. Right? Yeah, but that's of course, just the yeah. feeling that I have. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I'm I'm like leaning towards the first, but um, I mean, shoot, honestly, like I don't I don't really have more than that to really say about it like it's it's really just a feeling i'm like i feel like this uh, has to super be fair. Sort of defense mechanism like yeah yeah there's no way it's not etc cetera, yeah. et cetera. no that's um, that's super fair man that's extremely yeah. extremely fair um, <laughs> like i i agree with that mm. in its entirety um do you do you think we'll see any sort of like skyward sword nods to them i like, have a feeling we're gonna see a lot of skyward sword nods towards them it, yeah, mm. I, I I have a feeling that that like look that like corner of lore is going to be v- very relevant. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, oh my okay. gosh. So, <gasps> so here's a here's there's a theory. Uh, I yeah. guess we're I guess we're in the theory section. Yeah, pretty uh, much now. Um, there's there's a theory I've seen floating around mm-hmm. where the Zonai woman who yeah. looks a lot like Zelda. Yeah. Uh, like there's a lot of people who are like, oh, it's like a transformation or it's an ancestor or something. You're right. There, there was kind of a wild one tossed around that I'm kind of subscribing to mm-hmm. that. That's Hylia. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And I'm like, I'm, I'm yeah. kind of on board with that. 
I'm I'm fully leaned into uh well hmm because there were there were two figures right there's like that that tanned woman and then yeah. there was the the big the, dude yeah mm. yeah okay as far as the, yeah the woman goes yeah I'm I'm also in belief that that is like highly uh I I don't want to say like reborn I think it's like a a manifestation of her or like a body swap type deal. Mm -hmm. because zelda's wearing the same outfit and she also is carrying the same accessory yeah. um and so on and so forth so i'm like okay so this this like pendant thing or whatever it ends up being definitely allows you to channel your ancestry and like straight up just bring her here yeah. um which well is we cool. see um the, the like the i mean the, like those little pendants those are like the tears yeah of of the kingdom that's yeah they're the thing they're the MacGuffin. Yeah, and and we see them all over the place. Um, it's, yeah, like uh, we see them on the Rudo dude. Uh, Cedon's got one. Uh, Link's yeah. got one. Uh, other person <laughs> has them. Yeah, Ganondorf's got one. Does does he? He has the red one. It's on his uh, forehead. Oh, oh, yeah, I it's on his crown. Notice. We also know that there are seven. Okay. Okay. We know there are seven because of the first trailer, right? Because we see a mural okay. that has like a dude surrounded by seven tears, or maybe it's oh. nine. I don't know. I'm gonna say it's seven. Okay. Oh my gosh. So maybe we get sages, kind of, or like some sort of like. I feel like oh, it's wow. a sages analog, but like with Ganondorf yeah. having one, that's right. I I don't oh. know what we're doing with that. And it, and it's funny, it's actually funny that you mentioned that. There was a theory I saw that basically says like uh you know, maybe we're actually going to see Ganondorf like okay, the the base the base of this theory is uh they're they're going to do away with the uh the whole chain of reincarnation thing, right? Uh -huh. The whole like that that curse from Skyward Sword will be lifted and and the, their spirits can finally I guess rest or whatever. Um but with that, this this theory comes in where somebody was like, maybe we're going to see Ganondorf himself, like kind of, I, I guess, like pivot towards the good side. Maybe not necessarily be a good guy, but, you know, for the greater good, he will join us in order to stop demise because people think that demise proper in response to Hylia being present will be there. Well, um, we, do, we do have that one shot. Yeah, right. Of uh, like, from the trailer where we've got yeah. him looking very demisey. Yeah, right. And like and, a, and like a lot of people scales are, yeah, and everything. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people are just like, "Oh, he's like mid hydrating or whatever." <laughs> right. Uh, and I'm like, I, I'm like, I don't know, man. Right. Like it could be that. It could be. But uh, yeah, very very interesting theory. I was like, oh, so that that would explain why he has one, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like, oh, you're meant to join with us. And they they even pointed out the um the mural I think that is seen in the first trailer or maybe a later one, yeah. Because the 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 depiction of I guess the hero doesn't have blonde hair. He has like long flowy red hair. Uh, oh. So I was like, ah, that's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. See, yeah. I didn't catch that. And I actually, I, like, I went through the old murals. Right. And, like, you would just assume, like, you know, that's that's just what they had at the time, you know, yeah. like, the, in terms of paint. But I was like, it's interesting. I it, it It's an interesting idea, interesting theory, for sure. Yeah. I'm, I, I mean, there's a lot of, I mean, like... Th there's just so much, man. There's yeah, like, <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be playing this game for a very very long time. Yeah, yeah. And honestly. having a good time. Uh, mm -hmm. Now you're gonna be streaming probably what most of your experience with this game. I do believe so. Yeah. Uh, I, where I'm I'm gonna like do my introduction to the game. And then I probably won't stream it again until I'm ready to wrap up. Mm, makes sense. Because like, because like the way I played Breath of the Wild was like probably not very interesting to watch. <laughs> like, really? <laughs> like, well, because like I just dink around and like just kind of have a time like exploring like, and I don't want to like, I don't know. I I don't I don't want to have to be on for it does that make right. sense 
that makes like, sense for 90% yeah. of it. Like I just kind of want to like go and I'm like, Oh, I'll see a thing and just like vibe. Yeah. That makes you know? perfect sense. Like, like when I'm streaming a game, I have to like be doing, we're doing a show we're doing, you know, we're interacting with chat. I'm doing stuff. And like, I just want to go, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, 100%. I get that. Like all vibes, no anything else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um and and like cuz I'm also like super worried like people are going like, "Oh, why don't you go over there? Go over there. Go over there." I'm like, mm-hmm. "I don't mm-hmm. I, I don't too. I don't I don't need that in my life." <laughs> you know, I I understand entirely. Um there's was, oh god, no matter what there's going to be a lot of that. What was the first divine beast you saw in Breath of the Wild? Ooh, um, I did Va. Oh my God, what's the name? The 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 Zora one. Ah, um, uh, uh, the first one that I saw was the desert one. Oh wow! And because I because the game was very easy, clearly trying to point me towards Kakariko. Right. So I just turned left instead. <laughs> oh my God! And I ended up schlepping over there, and then unexplained, like. No, like there's just a giant camel robot. <laughs> yep. And it doesn't. The game doesn't tell you anything. Nope. If you not do it this thing. way, it's just yep. like, hey, there's a giant camel robot, and then if I got close to it, it shot me with lightning. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm going. Uh, what, what, uh, all right, I guess I'm not going to the desert now. <laughs> I love that. I love and, that so much. And so I start going to you know towards Hyrule Castle at that point. And then uh, Hyrule Field is full of guardians. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, wow, this game really does not want me over here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fine, I'll go to Kakariko. I love that so much. And then, I, uh, and then oh, instead man. I went mm-hmm. south because, haha, the game doesn't care if you go south. True. <laughs> it oh just cares God. if you go west and north. <laughs> It sounds to me like you were definitely playing the game. It was meant to be played, quote unquote. Dude, I, I love had that. so much fun. The, the first <laughs> Divine Beast I actually did was Varuda. Okay, yeah. But uh, the first one that I saw was in the desert. And that was, mm-hmm. all right, that was my rock. That was my boulder. Yeah. Because that just that terrified me. I was like, oh, I didn't go back to the desert until like the very end of the game. Like I avoided yeah. the whole area like the plague. <laughs> Even after I realized I'm like, oh, it's a divine beast. I'm like, nah, nah, man. I don't I don't want to do I don't want to do you can't, you can't make <laughs> Um Man. Dude, I'm just I'm just excited, man. Yeah, same here. It's gonna be it's gonna be a really, really good freaking game. There's gonna be like, I mean, we're we're still seeing this in Breath of the Wild, like People are still dissecting that game, like what seven years later, dude. Um, yeah, the same is going to happen with this. I mean, shoot, like now that I think about it, there are even like giant what like crop circles in places. Or, oh like, yeah, giant we just completely of- didn't talk about the crop circles. Yeah, like they glow. what? I I haven't stared at one long enough, nor have I really watched a video. I guess long enough that that's like covered the topic. Um. But like off the top of my head, I'm like, are these just like depictions of like divine beasts or something? Or like, what is this? I feel like I have. Yeah. In fact, watch a video long enough to cover that. And yeah, they didn't know. Dang. It's literally just like their divine beasts question mark. You're right. Man. Um, oh, like it's. Oh, that's another thing. Uh, mm-hmm. The Zonai ruins in yeah. uh, that are next to Death Mountain. That are in like the complete sh- the complete darkness. Oh yes, yes, the yes, darkness yes. isn't there anymore. Yes, I heard that, and I was like, "What?" Because it's in the trailer. Like one of the f- trailer establishing shots, like takes you through the entrance to that, and it's like, "Yeah, it's just day." Nah, what what is going on, dude? I don't know, but like, that's also one of the reasons I think the veil for the sky stuff is. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes I, I sense. have a feeling that location is going to have a lot to do with the sky stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um. Yeah. There's, dude. There's just too much. There's. Just, there, dude, I'm so there, excited to get to play much. it. Same. I. And, oh gosh. And, and and future us the the us that is the version of us that you're listening to the Monday before the game comes out 
gets to play it tomorrow plus <laughs> the recording version of us doesn't get to play it for several weeks yeah we're we're still waiting for, for we are about still two waiting, and a half weeks or so we are now not waiting because <laughs> if you listen to this after then that's the version of us that's already played it mm-hmm, exactly no and see, this this is exactly how the song of storms like time paradox was made by the way <laughs> oh yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, well, here, one of my favorite again, H Bomber guy does in fact make good videos because what time is now? Oh, yeah. Oh wow, wow. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah, what time is now? Uh, like it's one of my favorite bits he's ever done in a video because right now for us it's uh twelve eleven a.m. on mm -hmm. uh. April 28th, 2023. But you're yeah. listening to this at a completely different time. Who knows? I don't, but you do. And like, what does that mean? Like, it's great. It's go watch the H Bomber video, H Bomber <laughs> video that I stole that from. I, I think love it's that. his pathologic one. I love that so much. Yeah, like the pathologic uh, video is, by the way, is the way you should experience the game pathologic. No one should ever play the game pathologic buy pathologic 2 and play that <laughs> noted all right we've been i've been distracted we should do, need to wrap up bye yeah <laughs> we're done <laughs> throw it out <laughs> i stopped recording okay okay i also did okay cool <laughs> I, I let it run for like a little bit longer okay cool <laughs>